This piece is for um, a client who's a repeat customer, which is great. They purchased one of my uh, vitrines before, and this is for their very large bedroom that they wanted a chest of drawers in their master bedroom. So they asked me to come up with this. So this is a very new um, thing. I've never made a chest of drawers um, before out of this material. So the piece is made from um, steel. It's blackened steel um, with a powder coated sprayed color for the color elements, also on steel. Um, and the carcass is made out of this Velcro mat, which is a very condensed black all the way through material. So um, it has this particular type of aesthetic, black innards, black outer shell, and these little pops of color. So the color, the particular color chosen, obviously reacts to the room's color um, and the furnishings that are existing in it already. Uh, it's a very particular color, bluey, gray, purple, rather gorgeous. Um, and as you can see, there are three tones. There are two colors, but three tones. And the tones are created by the fact that I've had this perforation here. Um, this element's perforated, and there's just normal spray metal there, and then a different, slightly darker color at the end. It's designed into two units, one small little baby unit here, another one down there. Um, we could have designed, could have made it as one, one piece, it's 2.7 meters long, um, 85 centimeters high and um, 43 centimetres deep. And the, we thought it would be more fun just to go, well, I thought it would be fun just to create a little tiny gap, so a little tiny little wee gap there, um, which you can obviously have whatever you want at the moment. I've got it at 30 mil. Just a little playful thing that this thing sits, this little diddy thing sits on its own. Um, but of course it talks to the, the larger piece in the middle um, its colour is the same, but the tone is slightly different because of the perforations. So it has this love, no, no, lovely little rhythm, one long piece, one short piece. It's following a profile that I've used a few times and I'm very excited by it. And I think it's a lovely thing. It really shows off the material, which is a very thin nature. This is only four mil of the black steel. There's got incredibly deep frame. And then this um, plane that sits back 50 mil. So, what it does is you get the light coming down and it gives ever so subtle shadows here and here and here. It frames it in a very lovely way and gives it another tone. So this piece is all about unbelievable simplicity, celebration of the material, the stark blackness of it that has this lovely waxed finish. Um, so it has sort of a industrial tough feel, but also a kind of delicate, almost jewel-like um, beauty uh, and the lovely slick, highly sort of almost polished nature of the black steel I find very very attractive and then there's this shadow gap detail here so there's the leg configuration that plays a game these two legs sit much more like two uh, like sledge legs whereas these are, plays a game with an L shape and then another L shape back there and then another little baby little piece at the end and that's just a little game, um, a configuration game, which I enjoy playing, that um, talks obviously to the rhythm of the piece as well. So there's obviously, there are often continuities from previous pieces. One was the feeling of perforations, which I picked up on before with my perforated black steel, which are much bigger perforations. I've introduced much smaller ones here. The other was obviously is the black steel from my Bushy Hill Road sideboard piece where I had um, perforated black metal dividers that, that pull, pulled across with a lovely little brass detail. I introduced this edge on it and then had a shadow gap before it hit the legs. So that's exactly how I picked up on that again on this piece. But the first time I did the vitrines, I wanted to have these boxes um, or these storage boxes that had these secret handles. And I've introduced that on all my metal pieces and it comes through in some of the kitchen pieces I've done as well, whereby you press the, it started off by those very beautiful sports cars, which you had actually in the eighties mainly. You sometimes have them now, I think, um, with the, um, the, D, the DB6 or something, uh, DB9 has it, sorry, where you press the button, the, press the handle in and then it just, you put it and then you open the door and then it flips back flush. So I love that idea of having that. And I was trying to work out how to do it. Uh, I came up with this idea of having two
two positive charged magnets facing each other. And um, so all you did was you would just push your finger in, open the door um, and then open it and then let go. And then the thing would fly back, ping back. So it'll be flush. So I had that kind of feeling about a sports car. And in this piece, um, I had two, I had a different rhythms as you can see, only the small ones here, there's only the 30 by 30 and then a very long, which is a new thing. I haven't done that before. Very long handle which um, sits in the middle.